It was 2005 when voice actor Kenny James heard back from Nintendo. He was to be the new voice of Bowser. This was his first professional voice acting role ever, so he was pretty excited. Except, throughout his years of voicing the character, there was one particular event that stood out to Kenny James, and uh, not exactly in a good way. It was a recording session that he would never forget, for reasons you'll soon find out. This is the story of how Bowser's voice actor lost his voice. So, I've talked about Kenny James before, in my video about Bowser's voice. But what I didn't mention in that video was an incident that happened during the recording for Super Mario 3D World. This was around 2012 or so, and Nintendo were in production on the game. To make it stand out from its predecessor, 3D Land, they had invented a new power-up called the Cat Bell. Now, the Cat Bell is a power-up which turns you into a cat. You can climb up walls, you can scratch enemies. But the interesting thing about the Cat Bell, and the thing that makes it important here, is that it's not just the player who can use the Cat Bell enemies can use it too. Goombas can turn into Cat Goombas, Bullet Bills can turn into Cat Bullet Bills, and for the final twist of the game, during the final battle where you fight Bowser, he too gets a hold of a giant Cat Bell. You have to try and escape up this tall tower, but then Bowser climbs up the side of it, cat style. So obviously, this new cat form of Bowser needed a catty voice too. Which brings us back to Kenny James. It all started with a regular recording session. Kenny James arrived at the studio where he would be recording voices for the next Mario game. Now, Nintendo were very secretive about their games, so Kenny James knew basically nothing about what the thing he was recording was. The first two hours were fairly normal, with Kenny recording various noises for Bowser to make. But then, two hours in, when he turned to the page of his script, he saw the words Meowser in quotes. He turned to the person from Nintendo and said, This is hilarious! Uh, what do you want him to sound like? And the guy from Nintendo paused, stopped for a second, and then answered, uh, We don't know. In other words, it was all down to Kenny James to come up with the voice of the character. It was time for some improv. <laughs> so I thought, well, Bowser's too big to sound like... <laughs> so I went Wildcat which was more like a And then I thought, well, he can't just sound like a cat. So I have to roll into that. So it wound up being So that was just a few seconds of Kenny James doing the voice. But notice that the woman sitting next to him, voice actress Jen Taylor, cut in at the end. And then, uh, Don't hurt yourself. That was after a few seconds of the voice, but take a guess at how long Kenny's recording session was for Meowser. It was two hours. For two long hours, after already having spent two hours making exhausting Bowser sounds, Kenny James now had to meow and roar again and again and again. Every sound that Meowser makes in the game was recorded in one go. And by the time he was finally done, Kenny James could taste blood. His throat was bleeding. That's just how much this session impacted his voice. Now, after the recording was done, the audio would be sent off to Nintendo of Japan, and the Japanese developers would decide whether it was good enough to go in the game. Kenny was worried they'd say no, and he'd have to do a whole nother session. Thankfully though, it was approved. Few. But what about Kenny's voice? Well, whenever Nintendo knew they were going to have a really awful session like that, they would be sure to get all the other voice recordings out of the actor first, because after one of those intensive sessions, the actor's voice would be as good as useless. And if we're talking about intensive sessions, Kenny James' Meowser is one of the worst that's ever taken place. 
After his throat bled, I can't imagine he'd be able to record much else. Which is why the timing was so terrible. You see, this recording session was on a Wednesday. And on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Kenny James was performing in a live theatre production of the musical Evita. And he wasn't a background character either. Kenny's character was this guy here, Magaldi, who has to sing an entire solo tango piece directly to the audience. Where the music loves guitar, forever so, as soon as the recording session for Meowza was over, Kenny James rushed home and rested his voice completely. He tried not to speak, he tried not to interact with people, no singing, no nothing. Anything that could stop his voice from healing, he avoided it like the plague. So, did it work? Did his voice come back? Hey Heath, it's Kenny James. Hey, thanks for stopping by my uh, Instagram. <sighs> Thankfully, yes, it did. Although this was the worst recording session of Kenny James's life, his voice did eventually bounce back, and his live musical performance went off without a hitch. More importantly, though, he was able to speak again afterwards. And that would be the end of the story, except there's one final twist. You see, you would expect this whole experience to be extremely traumatic, right? I mean, I was actually considering not making this video for that very reason. I don't want to monetize someone's trauma, after all. But then I stumbled upon an interview, and just let me show you. What are some of your favorite games that you voiced Bowser and Peach? Uh, 3D World because of Meowser. I mean, you bled for one of those, so I, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah that's. I was pretty. I was pretty proud of. I was pretty proud of that big cat, man. So, contrary to what you might expect, certainly what I expected, this recording session was actually really important to Kenny James. Oh, and if you're wondering how common this kind of thing is in voice acting, well, most voice actors have some kind of horror story where they destroy their voice. Although I've never in my life heard one as bad as Kenny James's. But for instance, right before Kenny James told his story in this interview, voice actress Jen Taylor talked about how during one of her last voice acting sessions for the animated show Ruby, she had to shout for hours on end and lost her voice for a week. No blood though, thankfully. And that's the story of Kenny James's most traumatic voice recording session, although apparently not traumatic for him. Just traumatic for us to hear. <laughs> Stepping back for a sec, if you want to hear how Kenny ended up voicing Bowser in the first place, then you should check out my video on why Bowser doesn't sound like he used to. And if you've already seen it, then subscribe to the channel because I've got more voice acting and non-voice acting videos coming very soon. So I'll see you then. Ciao!